Welcome back. So ESPN recently released their way too early top 25 for the 2023 season. And we're going to go through it. And I just kind of want to give your brief ideas, you know, too high, too low. We'll talk about some of these teams more than others. And obviously at number one, the reigning back-to-back national champion, Georgia Bulldogs. Too high or too low, guys? That one's not right. That one's not too <laughs> early and it's not too high. It's not too low. It's just right. Dogs on top. They might be better next year. I don't know if they will be. We'll see how Carson Beck plays, but he was he was letting it spin during the uh, national championship. Dogs on top, baby. I'll, uh, actually, to go. I'll go a step further. They will be better next year. I actually thought what have good. we seen? What have we seen from Kirby Smart that suggests they're going to regress? You know, they lost at fifteen all. players. You know, they lost fifteen players to the draft last year. They had seven first round picks on defense. They're not really losing many guys off that defense this year. They're going to lose Keeley and Jalen, who are two huge pieces. But so many of those guys are so young. They're going to be right back in the mix. I actually thought that this Georgia team was beatable. And I think Ohio State showed that. I think Mizzou showed that. I think Georgia next year could be even better. Now, I do think across the board, college football was down. I think they're going to be a lot better teams next year, and we'll get into that. But I think Georgia next year has a very good chance of being better. I, they could be the best of the three. And so, I, I mean, I don't. if anyone put anyone other than Georgia number one, uh, they're on something. Haters. Haters. Yeah, they're, they're, they just want, they're just desperate for change, which I understand. I'm desperate for it too. I'm not a George fan. I'm hoping someone else wins it, but <laughs> Hey, there's no doubt they are the top dog in college football. So number two, Ohio state. I think that's fair. They're always going to be in the mix. Uh, Michigan, number three, I, I might switch Michigan, and Ohio state. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. They're splitting hairs at that point. I don't think that's really a big, a big but number point. four is where I have a huge gripe. Florida state. I mean, that is a joke. <sighs> I mean, that is a joke. Florida State should have lost to Oklahoma, one of the worst teams in the Big 12 this year, and they're cheese it Bowl. And I get they're bringing a lot of back, including their quarterback, which they're all excited about. I get they had that week one thrilling victory over LSU, who turned out to be much better than people expected. But but LSU was a lot better at the end of the season, middle of the season, late in the season, than they were week one. If those two teams met in week 12, they, LSU probably kills them. And I don't think LSU last year was anything great. Uh, the Florida State hype is mind-boggling. But, hey, LSU and Florida State play week one in, Atlanta, in Orlando. I'll be there. Hey, I'm all down for a top-10 matchup because it makes LSU look a lot better if they win. And Mason Taylor getting hurt in that game was so huge. I think LSU would have won that game if he didn't go down early. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just think Florida State, to me. Uh, Alabama at five. Alabama is one of the most intriguing teams. I think they're me. actually too low. Way too, too low. low, and I hate to say it, but they're oh, too I think low. so too low. I mean, they're, these are the years that Alabama, when they're counted out, just bring in some monsters. They love that really good-looking class. Yeah, and um, I, I think they're going to be a, a better team this year, and we're talking about a team that won a Sugar Bowl. I think they're too low. I would maybe even slot them at as high as number two, but they're definitely too low at five. Well, I mean, the fact that any list has Alabama below Florida State. Like, if those team teams met in week one – Alabama is winning by 40 points. And another thing, too, is we're also assuming that Jim Harbaugh is going to be back at Michigan, which is not a foregone conclusion. But I understand right now this is just the information they have. So I understand. Uh, Number six, Penn State, way too high. That feels a little too high. Yeah, a little too high. Way too high. I am not a Penn State believer. But they did come off a big win against Utah. But listen, the Pac-12 was terrible. The Pac-12 this year – was, you know, they lost it. Their best team lost to Tulane. I mean, it was the, the Pac 12 was a joke. So then you have are the they the team. best team? Was USC the best team? Utah beat them twice. I mean, well, we're about to get to USC, and uh, this is too high. Do we have to do this every year? I know Caleb Williams is really good, but do we have to keep doing this? Alex Grinch is back at defensive coordinator, and no team without Alex Grinch at defensive coordinator should be in the top 10. <laughs> if they had played Georgia, if they had beat Utah and played Georgia, it would have been uglier than TCU. Yeah, that's actually sad to say, but I, I agree. I mean, the only reason it might not have been uglier is because could it get uglier? Like, when do you call off the dogs? Because I, I think Georgia <laughs> could have scored 100 against TCU, but I think they would have done the same against USC. I mean, USC... Caleb would Williams have- would have made some plays, but oh my goodness. If you watched that Utah game and you saw what Utah was doing to them, imagine what Georgia would have done. Yeah, I saw someone say something about the, Pac- the Pac-12 the of the best quarterbacks. I'm, the Pac-12 don't have the best anything. I don't want to hear it. I, don't, I do not want to hear it. The Pac-12 have the best nothing. Number eight, LSU. I think this is fine. Too low. I mean, as a, yeah, as a fan, I, I really do think LSU will compete for a national championship. I think them and Alabama will decide the West again, and I think they'll have enough talent. I mean, they're bringing most everybody back. Jaden Daniels and Nussmeyer are a combo of quarterbacks that are both really, really talented. I love Malik Neighbors. So, and their defense. I'm gonna be nice really, to you guys too. And their defense. I think LSU really should be at four. 
Yeah, I, I definitely, definitely think that if Florida State's at four, I definitely think LSU should be in front of them. But we'll see. I think LSU one. should be at four, Bama five. Like, I think that's your top five. Georgia, Michigan, Ohio State, uh, Bama, and LSU. And outside of number one, I don't care how you put the rest of them. I think those are the five best teams, though. Yeah, LSU, I'd argue, is re- are returning the best quarterback room in the conference and arguably the best defensive player in Harold Perkins. Uh, and we didn't even see and Mason, they get Smith. Mason Smith. And we didn't even see Mason Smith last year. And this guy is going to – he's not Jalen Carter, but he will draw comparisons to Jalen Carter. When Did we I call him Mason year. Taylor? I meant yeah. Mason Smith. That's who the I was ma- There is a Mason Taylor. Mason Taylor's a stud he's the too. tight end. Yeah, yeah. And he's, he's a dog. Yeah, okay. he's – he. Mason he'll be Taylor's something. a stud too. Uh, number nine, Oregon. Bo Nix coming back. Too low. Too, too low. low Dan Lanning's building something over there. Too low. I'm interested to see – uh, how that shakes out. I'd love to see Oregon become the perennial Pac-12 representative over USC. That would be great. Well, USC is going to be going eventually, and I think they will be. I didn't really believe in Dan Lanning and Oregon until, you know, he's recruiting very well. The guys are playing for him. I, I think I like Oregon and Dan Lanning. I'm going to go a little too low. I think they should be ahead of USC. Tennessee here, I, I think, think so is too. too low. Number 10, Tennessee. I think Tennessee should I be think in the I think that's fine. Jury out. I think they have – I think they're fine. That's that's they have reasonable questions. They're losing a lot of talent. I think ten is fine. I Jury think that back, that backup quarterback. I, I forget his name. He's better than people. Joe Milton. Think. Yeah, he he can play. Washington at eleven. I, I never know. I think that's fine Washington. too. They TCU, got Michael Penix. He's TCU been playing at twelve. Well. I like TCU at twelve. I know they're losing a lot, but Sonny Dykes. I think when you have a coach like that who, who can get his guys to improve that much from a year to year basis in his first year. I think TCU is going to be around for a while, and in a they're week, also raiding the portal. They're doing yeah. really well, in and in portal. a big, in a big, a Big Twelve conference that really has nobody like worth a damn. Uh, I think TCU, uh, Utah at thirteen, good. they're always solid. I think that's fine. Sure. Notre Dame at fourteen, sure. Yeah, I mean, I mean, they did get uh, Hartman. That that's that should be yeah. interesting. Marcus Freeman did end the season strong with them, so I'm interested to see Notre Dame, and even though I don't really want them to succeed because of the whole Brian Kelly thing. I am interested to see how Mark, I do like Marcus Freeman uh, Clemson at 15. Finally, this is a, this Lower. is where Clemson should be. No, but like, at least they don't have them like four. Like, can we yeah. stop acting like Clemson is, you know, Georgia two point or like, you know, they're still this perennial top five program ever. They've lost their coordinators. Dabo has lost it. Uh, they're still going to like raid the ACC. Losing Brian Brees and Miles Murphy. Those are two. Yeah, they're still going to raid the ACC, but that's just because the ACC is awful. Like, I don't of even course think it's that. the coordinators thing. I mean, he's had two generational quarterbacks, Trevor Lawrence and Deshaun Watson. Outside of that, who is he? Who is Dabo Sweeney besides, you know, a youth pastor leader? That's all he is. <laughs> what did he say? Name, image, and likeness in the name of God. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> What is he doing? You know now? who you know who else was in A I L E D to a cross. When he gets <laughs> fired, he will be Liberty's number one target. Uh oh man. Texas Longhorns. Uh, that's probably too, too high. high. That's too probably high. too high. What about Oregon State? I think hang on, let's like talk it. about Texas. Hey. Let's hang on. I want to go back to Texas. I think Texas is gonna win the Big 12. Quinn Ewers is the man. They almost beat Bama. If he didn't get hurt, they beat Bama. I like Texas a lot. Sarkeesian is on the juice. I mean, I like the Longhorns. I really do. All right, Oregon State. Wrap. We're going, we're going to wrap it. I love it. End. Oregon State's improved a lot under Jonathan Smith. I think they're going to continue to get better. They just got DJ Leungalole, right? And we'll see if yeah. it was a Dabo thing or if it was a him thing. I love Oregon State this year. Kansas State. I like, State. The I like Kansas like State too. State. I, I like yeah. Kansas State. I, they, I think 18 is probably about right. Maybe you squeak them up to like 15, 14. Um, but Tulane, who the, I have no idea. I really don't know who they're returning or anything, honestly. I don't know Willie anything Fritz. about Tulane. I love Willie Fritz. Legends. I love Willie Fritz. I do Ole Miss at 20 is way too high, guys. Ole Miss is – they're frauds. Lane Kiffin – what about Lane Kiffin at the end of the season makes you think Ole Miss is a top 20 team? They, they were one I just of the look worst. at the teams they're ahead of, and I'm okay with it. They've lost five of their last six games to end the season. They got killed in most of them. They recruit terribly – I know every, Which is I know, wild. I know Ole Miss like wanted to proclaim that Lane Kiffin is this amazing head coach, but I think he's a little overrated um, as an overall. I think he's a great offensive mind, um, but he, he can't recruit, and I think some of that has to do with what he's been given in, in terms of support, but I don't think Ole Miss ends the year ranked next year. I, I would be surprised. North Carolina? Uh, sure. It's going to be like that Sam Howell year after Sam Howell lost all those – 
crazy weapons, all those guys who went to the NFL, like Deami Brown, and uh, I, I, his name's leaving me, but UNC's losing a lot. It's going to be Drake May and then the rest of them. So, Yeah, UTSA Roadrunners. I love betting on those guys. Couldn't name a single player on the team. Couldn't name a single player on the team, but great to bet but They're on. a wagon. wagon. Yeah, especially, especially when they're an underdog. Because, like, they're sneaky. They play tough. That's where Pig Cage went, you know? You remember Pig Cage, Alex? Oh, yeah. Pig Cage. Oh, that's my dude. <laughs> Pig Cage. Uh, Texas Tech. I'll tell you what. I like Texas Tech a lot. I like their coach. They got him out of the high school rankings, and he's been lighting it up. They had a good season last year. I'll tell you what. Speaking of Ole Miss, Texas Tech in that bowl game physically dominated Ole Miss. I mean, they were the more – I was shocked at how physical they were. I mean, they Love dominated the, the line of scrimmage. Uh, I think Texas Tech is heading in the right direction. James Madison – Great program. Sure. Love, love to see them in there. Jake, I know you had some stuff to say about Iowa, so end us on this note. What do you think about the What's, Hawkeyes at 25? They got Patrick Mahomes, a quarterback or something? Like, what <laughs> happened? They still got Brian Francis uh, – or Kirk Francis' son. Someone Brian did Francis, transfer there, though. Who transferred there? I hope it was Christ himself because other I think, than that – Was it a Notre Dame no. quarterback? No. I'm not was sure, that, but they it, came No, forward. I think it was the Mich- – was it Cade Mac- McNamara, the Michigan guy? Yeah. 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 The guy that didn't was. start at Michigan. They still can't score. They can't score. A team that cannot score cannot be in the top 25. I'm sorry. All right. Before we go to our next break, I want to rapid fire top four teams to make the playoffs. Let's go. Uh, Georgia, LSU, Ohio State, and Oregon. Uh, you put me on the spot there. I'm not, I'm not sticking by yeah, that. Yeah. First time ever, Oregon. three SEC, Georgia, Bama, LSU, Michigan again. I'll go uh, Michigan, give me Bama over Oregon, by the way. I'll go Michigan, Georgia, Alabama, just not to be a homer. And let's see. Who else do I like on this list? I'll go Oregon. I think they win the Pac-12 next year. So, All right. Uh, coming up after the break, NFL wildcard weekend is upon us. One of the best weekends of the year. We're going to break down all six matchups of this weekend. 